Here we are. You are listening to the special edition of the Organizational Excellence Podcast. This is Kevin Johnson of Leverage Consulting, and I could not pass up this opportunity. With everything swirling around about the coronavirus, everything that it is affecting now, be it sporting events, conferences, trade shows, parties, schools, schedules, everything, it's getting its fingers into everything right now. And it is creating a ton of hype. We might go so far as to say it, hysteria. Of course, if you can find toilet paper, good for you. But with all the questionable news, facts, and so forth that is swirling around right now, something I learned when I was a little kid, and my wife Shelly has done a very good job of reminding me in the last 26 years, is that there's always a silver lining to things. Well, folks, here's your silver lining, and here's a, a couple of questions I'm going to have for you. And I'm sure at this point in the game you're wondering what on earth could be a silver lining to all this. Well, if you remember, I just got through saying that we have sporting events and conferences and trade shows and parties and school schedules and all these other things that have been canceled or postponed or something. Do you realize you just got a ton of time back? So those of you who find yourself saying, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. My schedule is so full. It's so crazy. It's this, it's that. Well, guess what? You just got a ton of time back. So if you were to sit down and start considering all the time and all the money that you would have invested in any one of these things, be it, again, going to a sporting event or a conference, a trade show, any of those things, consider the amount of time and money you would have invested in those things, and now you've got them all back. Somebody just put all that back in your bank account. So here are a couple of questions I have for you. How are you going to reinvest the time that you've just gained back? Because if you go and you think about if you were going to a trade show, much like one that I was going to somewhat soon, that is the board is right now considering canceling that trade show, that's one where I would have invested several thousand dollars in going to the show. I would have probably invested about five days at least in being there. And I'm getting all that back. And I'm sure the same thing applies to many of you. You're getting that money and you're getting that time put back in your bank account. This gets to question number two, which is how are you going to capitalize on this? And some of you may wonder, well, how do you capitalize on something like this? You say quarantine. I say you have a ton of time where you can focus on getting some tasks done. You have a ton of time where you can, and many are not being technically quarantined, but if you're not going to some of these events, what are we really doing with things? So then that really gets to an extension of the first thing I asked, which was if you really count up what you would have spent. So, for example, if you would have gone to a show and you would have done this to promote yourself, if, or if you would have gone to a show and it would have been for education, training, and networking or something like that, many of you who are listening to this own your own business or you may be one of those who are responsible for helping grow the business, count up the money that you would have or estimate the money that you would have spent going to that event or what you would have done at that event, count it up. And then could we take that and reinvest it into your business, into your practice, and use it in another way? So instead of looking at all of this as nothing but one big problem with the coronavirus and the cancellations and everything else, but where can we capitalize on this? Where everyone else is zigging, have you considered how I'm going to zag? So while everyone else is being brought down or they're hyper-focused on all the negative aspects of the coronavirus, how are you going to capitalize on this right now? So as I listed off those three questions, you might wonder, well, how do I really apply this? What am I really supposed to do that with this? So here's a couple of ideas for you. As I said earlier, many of you have probably said, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. I have too many things on my plate. Well, again, you just had a ton of time put back in your bank account. So break out the to-do list. Break out and sit down with a legal tablet and 
take out and start listing out all the normal things that you normally do and then start listing out all the big things that you've just not been able to get to. It might be something as simple as cleaning out your garage or it might be getting ready for an upcoming event that might be later in the year. It might be something where you have a ton of things to do in your house and maybe a ton of things you need to do in your business, but all those things we said we just don't have time to do, now we can put them on the list and we can start crossing them off. You probably will be amazed when you have this time and you don't allow other things to creep into this time. So there's only so much of the negative energy we can invest into certain things like the coronavirus, but if we compartmentalize some of these things and focus on getting a to-do list done, again, this will be something where we can say we had a silver lining to what's going on right now. Another idea would be, as I mentioned, you're getting time and you're getting money back. So with that, what about marketing? Those of you who are in real estate, phenomenal time to start thinking about in this spring market, how we're going to reinvest our time and money into the upcoming spring market, the summer market, everyone moving for the school year and things like that. Those of you who have medical and dental practices, it's the same thing. Many of you see a spring break and a summer break spike in your activity. Well, now's the time to create the marketing plan for those things. If you don't have it in place, again, you got the time and money put back in your bank account because you probably aren't going places with many of the things that are being shut down. And then we get to things like training, whether that training is for you. That training could be for the team. So it may be something like the software that you use on a day-to-day basis. It may be that you're going to work on personal development things. So if you literally carved out the first four hours of a given morning and you worked on a skill set, whether it's dealing with objections, public speaking, which many of you may think, well, I don't get on stage. But if you deal with customers, clients, patients, you are in public speaking every day. You could use that time to work on those skill sets. Then there's things like, which would be an extension of the last one, the training, but there's things like reading. And it may be educational reading where you're learning, again, new skill sets. You may be learning new business practices, sharpening business practices, or maybe it's just fun reading. You're getting to do one of those things that you don't get to do that often. And the last one would be recharging your batteries, With the coronavirus, what are they telling everyone to do? Stay out of the crowd environment. Well, I've got news for you. If you get out into the wilderness, you'll get away from the people. And what can you do while you're out there? How about hiking, biking, fishing, sightseeing? Just get out. Go somewhere. Recharge your batteries. Go do the things you say you never have time to do. Bringing this all back together... You can take an event like this and you have other things like this that happen in your businesses that are something that's going to be on a much smaller level than the coronavirus, but it may be other things. It could be a snowstorm, ice storm. It could be flooding. It could be any number of things. It could be someone who who is integral to your business or your practice and they get sick or ill. We have things that happen that we can focus on the negative or we can focus on how do we make the best out of the situation that we're in right now. So that, my friends, is a special edition of your Organizational Excellence Podcast. I hope you listen to this. I hope you take some of this to heart. And I hope you knock some things off your to-do list. And I hope, I really, really hope you take some time for yourself and recharge your batteries. Thank you, and I look forward to bringing another great podcast to you again very, very soon. Oh, and by the way, happy Friday the 13th.